Hello everyone, welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIOT. In today's class, we are going to learn a topic called Data Handling and Analytics. Okay, so in this, firstly, we are going to see IoT data as well as big data. How these two data differ from one another, we are going to see now. Okay, so as the technology is going on, the cloud computing concepts as well as big data concepts are uh, widely introduced into our technology okay as we already know iot is nothing but the internet of things where several sensors are integrated so a simple sensor processing applications will be done in a iot data and that data will be gathered okay so whereas coming to the big data huge and huge amounts of uh, huge data okay will be uh, collected for the further processing and are stored in the uh, particular uh, big data clouds or the servers or whatnot, okay? So IoT data processing can also be done using some sort of big data, big data as that particular research is going on, okay? Now, if you compare uh, the big data and the IoT data, the main benefits of uh, IoT applications or IoT analytic applications benefit from the capacity as well as performance. Okay, let's see an overview of big data and the IoT data. Let's see some of the points. Okay, so big data coming to the big data, the volume stems from the large warehouses and also will be having numerous data sources. Whereas coming to IoT data, the data will be mostly related to the sensors as well as internet connected devices. Okay. So, coming to the big data, in many cases, velocity is not a primary concern, okay? So, map reduce can also be used, okay? So, coming to the IoT streams, okay? So, very high uh, ingestion rates, okay, can also be used, okay? High or appropriate, inappropriate streaming engines are also needed. That means, What's the problem over here is, as we are using multiple sensors, all the data from the sensors need to be collected. That should be maintained in a particular data formats and several processing needs to be taken into consideration. So this is where a very high uh, ingestion rates or map reduce is inappropriate, okay? So streaming engines are much more needed in order to process the data, okay? So coming to the big data, Variety is a result of, okay, the data sources of different types. Whereas coming to the IoT, as we are using several types of sensors, okay, heterogeneity, heterogeneity of the different sensor, okay, types are used and also of different vendors, okay. Coming to the big data, veracity due to the un uncertainty in the processing of data uh, sources, okay, the veracity is very, very high, okay. So coming to the IoT, there is a noisy nature, okay, uh, with respect to the uncertainty of the signal while the processing, okay. So in several cases, IoT applications are also integrated with the edge computing infrastructures, okay. So it can be like an uh, uh, transferring only selected IoT data, okay, only the data. Uh, uh, we want from a particular sensor, only that data need to be transferred. It can be choosy sometimes, okay? So, it is very common to deploy an IoT applications, okay? With respect to edge or an, uh, cloud computing infrastructure, okay? So, we have few things like, uh, as we have already seen, volume, velocity, variety, veracity, okay? So, coming to the volume, okay? IoT data sources, data sources in the sense sensors, okay? So in most of the cases, the sensors produce large amount of or large volumes of data. As the sensors keep on uh, extracting the data or giving the outputs, okay? So a typical storage or processing capabilities need to be considered with respect to the databases, okay? So a huge database is required in order to store this particular or huge volumes of database is required in order to store this data, okay? Coming to the velocity, okay? IoT data streams have most common uh, very high ingestion rates, okay? So they 
as uh, as i've already said the sensors keep on producing the data continuously that to with high frequency okay so not only high frequency they also will be uh, producing the outputs within short time scale so velocity also very much considered and coming to the varieties okay so due to the large diversity of the iot devices as there are multiple types of the iot devices they they come in heterogeneous okay form okay or uh, each as they are having heterogeneous form each sensor will be having its own data format so that is also to be considered okay and coming to the veracity so as the data is considered from the sensors okay so lot of noise data is uh, uncertainty okay so therefore we need as particular systems tools and techniques to process that particular data okay so that is with respect to the veracity okay in the coming class we are also going to see iot analytics life cycle as well as the techniques